it's not yet official as the board will sit and discuss whether or not Chris Gill should be part of this T20 squad in late December. I mean, what's there to discuss? It's Jamaica the game is going to be played. What's there to discuss? Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTN, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTN. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Raymond and I are here, of course, to talk about the recently announced farewell match for Chris Gale, right? Chris Gale has announced or hasn't really announced that he has retired, but there is talk of a farewell game. West Indies Cricket Board has announced that it there will be a series between West Indies and Ireland um, starting January 6, 8 to 16. And the possibility exists that Chris Gale might be part of that squad that will represent the West Indies. All matches will be played at Sabina Park, Raymond. Matches at Sabina Park, Chris Gale home town right and there is still talk on whether or not he should be part of the squad it is officially announced right that the matches will be played so farewell for chris gale is on the card what's your thoughts well once i've announced the games in sabina jamaica i cannot understand what is there left to be discussed around if chris gale should be in the squad or not um it should be automatic the fact that they he had requested this and he's a stalwart of the game. It's only fair that he actually gets to play in Sabina to give thanks to, to his fans, especially the Jamaicans. Um, so I don't I don't understand why wouldn't he be a part of the announcement after saying that there would be games in, in Sabina Park. So I, I don't understand that. But it should be it should be exciting nonetheless. It's been a long time since cricket has been played in the region and especially in Sabina Park. So with all things being equal, we should be able to attend said game. So while we're excited to hear that the matches will be played in Jamaica, there is no official word on whether or not fans will be allowed to attend. And if we go by what has happened so far in all of the other um, approved um, sporting events in Jamaica, there is little or no fans. Um, are you looking forward to hearing a, a bigger announcement that fans will be allowed to at least go and watch this one-off T20 match? Yeah, as early as possible. As early as possible, we're hoping to hear that announcement that, you know, a limited capacity maybe of um, the ones that vaccinated versus unvaccinated. I stay far from that, um, that discussion, but a limited capacity um the the ticket goes on sale i'm i'm waiting to hear all of those announcements and logistics of something of that nature because cricket is back in caribbean and back in jamaica especially sabana park so the the ceo has said that it, it is not um officially decided whether or not chris gill will be part of the team and while he the CEO sees it an, as an appropriate opportunity and time to give a player like Chris Gale the opportunity to bolt. The board of directors or the selectors will meet in late December to decide whether or not Chris Gale should be part of the setup. So uh, clearly the verdict is still out on whether or not Chris Gale warrants a place in this West Indies T20 team? Uh, yeah, I, I'm hoping that it's just more procedural than anything else, a simple discussion. Um, yeah or nay, and more yeah than nay to having, having him there in Sabina. So I, I, I just think it's procedure and nothing else. Given the opponent, 
and his T20, one of his favorite format of the game. And with the crowd behind him, hopefully, we're hoping that it will be excitement. So this will generate a lot of revenue having Chris Gale. So I don't, I don't understand that. But as I said, I'm hoping it's more procedural and year and nay and many years and the day. <laughs> Here you say you hope it's just procedural. But to look at how Chris Gale has performed in his last set of T20 matches, and in particular, the World Cup recently concluded T20 World Cup. His performance was atrocious. So why should he be part of the selection? All right, yeah, that, that's a good question. And in, in a sense, um, there is there is a need to, to treat somebody who's a stalwart of the game, who pretty much wants a farewell game. You know, treat them right. You have not done that with said Ashanda Paul and stuff like that. And, and I'm sure that didn't look as good. So it, it makes sense. And, and especially if there is to be crowd in the Sabina, limited nonetheless, you would sell a lot of tickets having Chris Gale on it. Believe it or not, having Chris Gale on it in Sabina, Jamaica, that would be a big headliner. And if and it, and I'm sure it, it makes good business sense to have him there. Um, and the opponent, uh, the opponent should also, you know, hopefully they, they put up a strong fight. But it's not a game that we, we expect to lose. And one last hurrah for Chris Gale, in a sense. Talking about one last hurrah, Raymond. Chris Gale has officially announced his retirement from T20 or any form of cricket. Well, he hasn't been selected in a while for one day and um, test but in in one section he has mentioned that he would like to play in one last um international competition and the one day um world cup is coming up next year but in as it relates to the t20 matches what he asked for was an opportunity to tell his fans thanks we have interpreted that to mean he wants to play in Jamaica to say, this is my last game, but he hasn't officially announced any retirement from cricket. Yeah, it's tricky. He hasn't. Um, and maybe because he has not been selected yet. Um, maybe if he has <laughs> been selected, then he could probably say, this is my last game, and then the stadium full. Or he says um, it, he, he's mum on it, and when the game play him hit a ton maybe and at which point he's so overjoyed that he can do one or two things one probably say you know thank you a lot for the support and in the fact that he improves his, his stats he would just be like okay thank you for for supporting me and i'm leaving or it felt so good that he's like hey you know i have one more in me you know i have one more here. and it's up to yeah. the selectors so if you keep performing then it's up to the selectors to either decide to have him or not so it there's many ways it could play out. There's many ways. But one thing for sure, though, in order for the ball to be start rolling, it has to be included in this regard for business sense and to even if there's need to consider playing further. So it definitely would be an excellent opportunity for Chris Gale and Chris Gale fans to participate in this one-off T20 matchup and for the fans to see Chris Gale in his glorious form and at home in, at Sabina Park. So we are appealing to the authorities, give us this approval to go watch our beloved Chris Gale one last time, his last performance in the West Indies Colors at Sabina Park, home, home ground would definitely be sad if it is an empty stadium. It has been promoted from now that Chris Gale will play his last match once the board signs off on that, which we expect will happen um, pretty soon in the next meeting. But fans out there, Chris Gale has been a stalwart of West Indies cricket, Jamaican cricket, world cricket, international cricket, the face of T20, the universe boss as he's dubbed worldwide will play officially or unofficially 
his last T20 game for the West Indies. And we're definitely looking forward to such a game. And fans would love to hear from you. What's your thoughts? What's your fondest memories of this game representing the West Indies, Jamaica, in the IPL, in Australia, in Pakistan, in England, wherever he has played? What's your fondest memory of him? Leave those comments in the comment section below, right? The official match will be sometime in January between the 8th at Sabina Park, Jamaica. Yes, in Jamaica at Sabina Park. The series will include three ODIs and one one of T20, that official Chris Gale match, right? So fans out there, as soon as the authorities approve it, just buy on the ticket and let's meet and enjoy the party at Sabina Park. Always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. And to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell all of them friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Be blessed.